Hi everyone, uh, it's hot as hell here in Cambodia uh, and what I want to talk to you today uh, about is uh, the good old 100 US dollar bill uh, and how it can be a bit of a headache here in Cambodia. Now Cambodia is uh, really quite simple as far as uh, the currency goes. Of course they have their own uh, Cambodian rail but that's only for small change. Uh, but uh, the US dollar is the widely accepted currency here and the ATMs um, yeah, you know, are really really very very efficient here so it's a very very simple thing uh, you know you take uh, uh, dollar bills out of the ATM um, and you, um, you, you know you use them widely in Cambodia very very simple the problem is uh, that these ATM machines uh, love dispensing $100 US bills. Uh, now, <clears throat> a $100 bill is a large currency uh, in Cambodia. There's large currency anywhere. anywhere. Uh, the fact is that um, it's easy to get out of an ATM. It's not so easy when you come to change it. Let's make the point uh, about um, fake US dollar bills, especially 100 US dollar uh, bills. You will see quite a lot of these in Cambodia, and they are fairly obvious. And, and basically, you know, they're, they're used for a purpose. Um, in some places, like maybe a hotel reception, you will see some kind of a religious uh, symbol there, uh, surrounded by blocks of fake US dollar, uh, 100 dollar bills. Uh, now, what's this all about? Well, basically, what it is is that they are offered in a spirit sort of way they're used in festivals and um, burials uh, so that these spirits can uh, take the uh, fake US dollar bills to wherever they go in the afterlife and uh, the dead person will have lots of fake money basically strange strange but um, you will see them quite a lot around here of course there are some uh, not so easy to spot uh, fake US dollar bills go going around. Um, well it's a large currency so uh, sooner or later someone's going to uh, uh, want to try and reproduce it. Uh, well about these $100 uh, uh, bills that you get out of the ATM. Um, the fact is uh, that they can be a bit of a headache when you come to change them uh, in bars or, or markets or whatever you choose to ch change it. It's a, it's a, large, a large currency and a lot of people uh, simply cannot change them. Your best bet really is in hotels or restaurants. Um, I've heard somebody say that a restaurant has got to change a $100 bill. Uh, I'm not too sure I believe that. But the the fact is that that is probably your best bet. I mean, if you're buying a meal that's going to cost you maybe $20 or so, that's the best opportunity really uh, to change a $100 bill. But before you order, order that meal, make sure you let them know that you have only got a $100 uh, uh, bill. Uh, and if they say that they can't change it, well, you know, you've got to go somewhere else. You really do have to keep ahead of yourself with $100 bills here uh, because you can run into problems if you're going for a night out and uh, you've only got $100 uh, uh, bills then you're going to have a hell of a job changing them in a lot of places. Um, a good way of giving yourself a head start uh, instead of uh, you know requesting four, $400 from an ATM which, you, which would like to give you four $100 bills a good way of doing it is simply to put in 390 and at least you've got a bit of a head start then anyway you can even end up in altercations um, with uh, $100 bills if you try and exchange them in bars I know the case uh, of, uh, you know where a bar owner uh, you know, had a Russian uh, customer come into his bar. Uh, the Russian bought one uh, beer at uh, the total cost of one US dollar uh, and then tried to pay his bill with a $100 note uh, saying that that's all he had. Well, the bar owner wasn't going to have that. Uh, he thought, you know, the Russian was just trying it on to get out of paying for the drink. So what the bar owner done uh, is he, he seized the $100 bill and said, you're going to get $1 to pay for your drink and you can have your $100 uh, bill uh, uh, back. Uh, so, you know, it, it's, you can run into problems with them. Uh, of course, if you do have to uh, exchange a $100 bill um, in uh, a crowded bar, for example, uh, always bear in mind it's a large currency. So, um, you know, don't just simply hand, hand it over. I, I don't, because the fact is, I mean, I haven't known too many cases where this has happened, but you could uh, uh, occasionally come across an unscrupulous uh, member of staff. It will take that $100 bill, uh, disappear for a minute, and then come back with a fake one uh, and claim that that's the one that you gave them.
I say, I can't think of too many cases where that's happened, uh, but it's best to be on the safe side. Personally, if I have to exchange a $100 bill uh, in a crowded bar, um, I, um, I assert myself, I mean, I make sure that I know that they know that I know exactly what I've given them. I'll, I won't just flippantly hand over the, uh, the $100 bill, I'll actually announce it, I'll hold it up, I'll read out the last three digits to them, and I'll even make a joke about it, okay, you may think that's a, a little bit too much, but the fact is, uh, I, w I want to know that they know that I know exactly what I've given them, so no mistakes are going to be made. Remember once I handed over a $100 uh, bill in, in, in a bar, and uh, the, the staff member disappeared with it for about half an hour. They couldn't change it. Uh, so, you know, they, they went somewhere out in the street, somewhere else to change it. They were gone for about half an hour. And believe me, uh, that half an hour seemed like an eternity. You know, I thought I was never ever going to see the change in my $100 bill. I thought they might, uh, they might just have left the country with it. Another thing to mention, of course, is the condition of the, uh, the uh, US dollar notes that you're using in Cambodia. Um, the fact is, when you receive your $100 bills out of an ATM, it's going to be in really, really good condition. But um, make sure that it doesn't get damaged in any way. Um, you know, likewise, if you're handing over a $100 bill and you're getting change, maybe a fifty, uh, a $50 or a $20 or whatever, check the condition of it before you you accept it from them because the fact is if there's any rips and tears uh, or blemish in those notes you may have a hell of a job exchanging it somewhere else it's okay then passing the money on to you but you try and pass it on to somebody else in this country and you will have a bit of a problem okay so i've made me a little point about that one anyway uh, so what i'll say is um try and keep ahead of yourself uh, with your, your 100 uh, bills in cambodia uh, and uh, thanks for watching Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already uh, and have a lovely day. Jesus, the month of December and it is hot as hell here in Cambodia. Oh, cheers. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. There's a lovely gin and tonic long awaited. And that is a beautiful $100 bill. Yes. Last three digits are 163F. Okay. Okay. So there you go. Are you really not 20 when I'm out? What do you want? Okay. It's okay. I did tell him that, that like I was going to give a $100 bill. I did say that, yeah. Okay. See, there you go. No, that's how you do it. Now I'm going to try that gin and tonic. Looks good.